on Mark, I was wondering if you could use a president. I, a president? Well, we've we've already got a president, and he seems to work okay. Oh, you've already got a president. Well, tell me, what's the what's the thing you like most about your president? Well, he's um, you know, he's not like brainy, and he doesn't make me feel intimidated. So, if I were to tell you that I'm dumber even than the current president, is that something you'd be interested in? Oh well, I'm listening. Would you like to come in and have a cup of coffee? Oh my God, you're gonna let me in the house. I would love to come in and have some coffee with you. You know, your, your president, he, he promised to go to uh, Washington and, and get all the dirt. I think the way he put it, I think, is we're gonna drain the swamp. Uh, how do you, how's that working out for you? I don't know a great deal about politics, but it seems like he, he says that he's done it. So I, I'm guessing that he's done it, correct? That's really, I think the most important thing is what people say rather than what they do. God forbid, you don't have children, do you, by any chance? Here you go. Thank you. Mm, this coffee uh, ha has a lot of cream in it. Are you, you don't happen to be one of these people that has a problem with black coffee, do you? It's so raw and bitter sometimes. I just, it's more than my palate can take. Well, you know, my wife says you might want to try black sometime. You, know? you might want to give that a shot. I'm a little worried, though, if I try it, then I'll never go back to creamer. There's always that risk when you try something new. Maybe it could turn down the Fox News channel over there. And, uh, oh, and, sorry, and, sorry. Yeah. It's just, you know, yeah. I, I can't get enough of this uh, Sean Hannity guy. Here, hold on a second. Hannity's great the way he says the same thing three hours a day, isn't he? The demo for Fox News, people 65 and over with an IQ of 65 and under. Grant, my parents both watch Fox News. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. See, this is where you and I have a lot in common. I, too, have lost family members to Fox News. <laughs> Probably every Thanksgiving table has lost a family member or two to Fox News, wouldn't you say? We actually had to have a separate table just for the children and then a separate table just for my millennial uh, nephews and nieces. We just couldn't handle having them at the table. They just made us feel bad about our politics. So you sit at the kids table now until you're 26. I think that's how it goes, isn't it? Well, just getting back for the reason I knocked on your door. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm running for president because I'm thinking what we need to do to use a vacuum cleaner metaphor, not that you need it with this beautiful home. But what we really need to do, I think, is clean house. Wouldn't you agree? The more I think about it, the more I think you're right. It seems like it's very difficult for people to to kind of make it right now. I know, I know. Well, you know, I'm going to leave you with this, Mrs. Jones, and, and I want you to keep this nearby. Uh, put it right on top of the set where you watch your Fox News. And then November 3rd, 2020, when you go to the polls, remember this rubber chicken and vote Mark Whitney for president 2020. Mark Whitney for president in 2020. That's me. That's me. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, you seem like a really nice guy and a, a really relatable guy. So, yeah, I think I will vote for you, Mark. Thank you so much for coming and knocking on the door. Was there anything else that you needed to say or ask for? You know, Mr. Jones, now that you mentioned, I do have one more question. It sounds like you're voting from me, but Oh, what do you what do you think we should do with that old president? Well, I guess I, I'll just throw him in a closet someplace. I, I I can always have a spare president in case something happens. I just feel like I should keep him because you know he still sucks. <laughs>